Not, not quite my tempo. Not quite my tempo. It's all good. No worries. Here we go. Dragging just a hair. Now, are you a rusher or are you a dragger or are you gonna be on my fucking time? Hey guys, Rolly is here. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to play this badass Mark Knopfler finger styling from Sultans of Swing. And more importantly, I'm going to teach you how to learn anything like this. But before we start, let me tell you guys, the magic number is six. There are six ingredients you must have and there are six things to do to learn this thing, to learn this lick and to learn anything like this. So stay with me and I'm going to talk about all of the six ingredients and all of the six things to do. So here you go. Number one, time for it. It took me about four weeks to learn this lick. Uh, the original tempo is 148, so 148 BPM. It's fast. It's really, really, really fast. And these two fingers are usually lazy as hell on the picking hand. I just, I, I just used it for, use them for all the picks. So teach these two fingers. It took time. So number one ingredient, time for it. Number two, a guitar. <laughs> I use this beautiful Fender Custom Shop Strat for learning this lick, but any guitar with proper strings and proper tuning will do the job. So number two, you must have a guitar. The third ingredient is very, very important. Almost as important as a guitar. Don't start, don't start learning these sort of licks without proper metronome and this is a proper badass old school analog metronome <laughs> how cool this is right like an analog watch is just so much better than the digital one this is beautiful i put i put a link in the description below where you can find this amazing analog wooden box metronome you won't you won't be disappointed with it it's it's a it's a it's a wonderful piece of small small furniture for every guitarist it's, for every guitar it's for every musician it looks great in your room it looks great on your desk proper analog metronome from germany made in germany <laughs> proper german engineering and it just works fine and before you use it, you have to wind it. <laughs> you have to wind it like it's like a good old analog watch. It just it's just so much better than any of the digital ones, guys. This is proper, it has springs on it, it has movement on it. So it's not as obviously it's not as accurate as a digital metronome, but hey, we are talking about music. Right, Sultans of Swing was was played by drummer. It's that era when when music was played by musicians instead of computers. So it has a bit of latency here, and I like this metronome. However, this is very accurate, and it it does the job per perfectly. It teaches you keep the tempo and and increase the tempo and things like that. So 
it's it's perfect for the job check this out i put the put the the link uh, on into the description below this video check this out where i bought it it's well worth every penny what i paid for it i i, I can highly recommend this on for to you so don't start learning this link without a nice metronome <laughs> number four healthy and not tired hands right if you are tired if your hands are tired you won't be able to teach micro movements to your fingers so make sure you are nice uh, you are happy relaxed and chilled before you start learning these sort of things with tired hands after the gym or after hard day in the factory you won't be able to learn this I'm sorry number five ears rely on your ears that's very 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 important instead of internet forums and tops try to memorize the, the, the piece try to memorize the music and that especially that lick have a listen have a listen to it many times rewind it listen to it again and most importantly try to memorize the rhythm with your ears the rhythm the rhythm motif what you, what you can hear because that's the whole thing that's the that's that's the key ingredient the rhythm check it out check it out with your ears <laughs> and the sixth ingredient is a nice drink around you <laughs> that's my secret that's how i learned so many long carlos santana solos with very complicated rhythm very complicated lines and licks nothing repeated in his music that's how i learned a lot of stevie ray Vaughan, jimmy hendrix brian may a lot of interesting links that's how i try to compose my own music as well a bit of drink <laughs> whiskey wine beer tea or coffee around you that really helps you know what you have to enjoy this is art this is music so here you go the sixth key ingredient so after the six ingredients there are still six things to do to be able to learn this sort of licks and this lick especially here you go number one you have to find a time slot when you disappear from your family from your life for half an hour every day half an hour for practicing proper practicing every single day you have to find a time slot the second most important thing to do to be able to learn this sort of licks grab your phone grab your phone turn it off and take it out from the room you don't need distractions our whole life is full full of distractions and this motherfucker is one of the biggest ones so turn it off take it out from the room you can leave it out it for half an hour and this is your time this is your practice time so you don't need your phone turn it off take it out from the room number three shut the door find a quiet room or find a quiet corner that you can make less quiet and where you won't disturb anyone with your learning so find a quiet corner in your house in the garden now answer my question were you rushing or were you dragging? Faster! 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 Or anywhere in the cellar in the garage anywhere find a quiet corner find a quiet room and shut the door that's quite important number four enjoy it make it fun music is fun art is fun enjoy your half an hour freedom enjoy your half an hour guitar session right if you enjoy it you are going to practice every day every single day enjoy it Number five, give yourself enough time. 
that's very very important this is not a daily job there's no deadline right there's no deadline it's not a job it's art it's art so no deadlines no competitions no race nothing right as Bill Bartok said competitions are for horses horses not for not for guitarists or artists right give yourself enough time it can it might take a day a week a month a year doesn't really matter just enjoy it and do it every day practice 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 no competitions competitions are for horses not for artists number six but not the less important thing to do celebrate celebrate every little success you achieve in the journey right if you can Increase the tempo from 60 to 80 or 80 to 100. Just have a break and you know what? Open the bottle, open the bottle. Pour yourself a bit of whiskey, right? Or wine or beer or whatever and celebrate it. It's a success, it's, it's beautiful. You, you, you should celebrate every little milestones. So I celebrate this milestone because I can now talk about how to practice this lick. <laughs> Start with the right hand. Start with these two fingers, that's quite important. These three fingers are on the scratch plate to stabilize the movement. And then try to, try to hold the hand to make it parallel with the strings, like have a look, have a look what I'm doing. So my thumb is parallel with the strings it, it it makes the whole thing easier and then this is the movement what you have to learn first so so thumb on the E thumb on the B and then index finger on the E so it's a it's like So very slowly. So try to memorize this. This is quite important. And don't practice anything else until you are very familiar with it. So three fingers on the scratch plate and then just just play this without anything with the left hand. Just just mute all the strings. So thumb is parallel with the strings and then or slow it down. Thumb, thumb, index. Thumb on the E, thumb on the B, index on the E. And then turn the metronome on and set the metronome to something, something, uh, not too fast. I, I, I suggest, I recommend 60 to start with. So if you can play this, I don't know, about 10 times in a row without cocking up the order or without losing the losing the, the rhythm or anything, then it's time to add the left hand to it. It's, it's very, very easy. So I, I deliberately uh, hide these two fingers. Obviously you won't play like this, but I hide these two fingers just to, to, just to show it on the camera more, uh, show it on the camera better. So, so, so the pinky on the 13th fret and then the index finger on the 10th fret on the E and the B string so it looks like this right it looks like this. this is the this is the first part and then so the first note is just a pull off here so play it and leave it so and then when you play this 
your thumb goes to the to the B string and play this note here. So. This is how it looks like. So, thumb, thumb, and index at the end. So, obviously, for the last note, you just have these the index finger. So. Naturally, obviously, I won't hide these two fingers, so it looks like... But to show it to you, I, I hide these two fingers so you can clearly see these are the two fingers I need for the first movement. And then the second part of the lick is you add the second finger to the uh, 11th fret on the B string and the pinky goes to the same place and the pinky plays the same uh, pull of lick so and the the third movement is from the left hand is exactly the same as the second so just moves up to the to this position so from the so hold this and then just move it to the 12th fret from the 10th to the 12th fret and so the whole thing very slowly fourth one is the same as the first one now this is the whole cycle so so let me play you naturally so I won't hide these two fingers just to see just to show you how does it look like properly so So thumb is parallel with the B string and try try to move as little as possible because when it will be insanely fast every little details every little micro movements really matter and you lose time so try to move these two fingers as little as possible so try the metronome try try the whole thing with the metronome okay we First thing we have to learn the tempo. So it means that just wait a bit. Let's learn what you can hear, what you can hear from the drummer, or what you can hear from the the metronome. It's it's quite important. So learn the tempo. Tap it with your feet. Okay, you learned you learn you you learn this tempo. Then you start playing. Okay, and then increase the tempo by 10. I increase it significantly just to fasten the learning process up. So now the tempo is 80. So I learn, learn the tempo first, right?
So the tempo is 96 now. Let's learn the tempo first. So that was 96. Very important. When you increase the tempo, you shouldn't you shouldn't change the picking pattern. It's still the same picking pattern than it was in the beginning. Never change it. It stays the same, but you try to make your fingers moving faster and little as as small movements as little movements as possible, right? And because from 60 I reached 96 from 60 to I I I I got to I got to 96 from 60 so I have to celebrate that's what I said that's very important you have to celebrate put the guitar down or something just grab a bit of whiskey or wine or anything and then just celebrate yeah man so let's increase the tempo again So it's 112 now, it's getting fast. First thing first, first things first, learn the tempo. So. So let's increase the tempo again. This is 132. Serious shit is going on. <laughs> Getting third. So the original tempo is 148 BPM. I am on 132 now. guys and let's check the original tempo now So that's it for you guys. I hope you got something from this video. I hope you learned something from it like it share it please subscribe to my channel let me know let me know how you're getting on with this song with this leak I, I really appreciate all the feedbacks and comments and suggestions recommendations things like that this is the first episode and i'm going to carry on showing you more and more of my favorite leaks so hope you enjoyed it bye bye